Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we're going to be hopping into another trophy pushing episode of Clash Royale. Where inside of the last couple of days, or actually it was yesterday, I ended up doing a little bit of push to get to 5,200 trophies, which squarely puts me about 1,500th in the world. Not the best, but of course, it's just the beginning of our push for this season. It did get me up to Master 2 as well, so I'm hoping to pick up a couple more wins today. Let's do it. Now, the deck I'm going to be playing is a deck I showed you guys sort of recently. It's this giant spam deck where basically you're going to be playing your giant and then using you know if they zap your bats you go in with spear goblins if they use log on your goblin gang you go in with spear goblins if they zap your spear goblins you go in with bats basically you guys sort of get the gist of how this one works and uh, let's go and see if we can do this for a couple of wins we're at 52 15 right now legendario it's actually a pretty solid right, name right there is going to be our first opponent and uh, let's go ahead and get our game grooving guys i am you know itching for clan wars right now i'm basically mentioning this almost inside of every single episode but everyone in the community right now is almost in a riot uh because they want to see an update they don't want to wait anymore i totally Totally understand their frustration. I definitely want to see an update as well, so I'm hoping it's coming very soon. As you guys know, uh, most Clash updates come out on... This is a little bit scary of a poison. Okay. For a second, yeah, I mean, I could have played Goblin Gang actually and spent three Elixir, but it would have been tricky. But as you guys know, Clash Royale updates come out on Mondays. And since today, um, the day that I'm recording this is Tuesday, this will probably come out on Wednesday. You know, I would think that it's going to be coming out either next Monday or the Monday after, which is actually super soon. That's way sooner than what I thought. So we will be getting it sooner than later. Um, obviously, right now, by the way, with this deck, guys, he does have Zap, so that's good to know. He's got those little Spear Goblins as well, which we can go ahead and ship down for us. Looks like that'll work pretty decent. We'll get some chip damage maybe on the other side. Guys, this is just uh, a very slow battle right now, but perfect time to talk a little more about Clan Wars. Yeah, Clan Wars should be coming out either this Monday or next Monday, uh, which is pretty exciting to say. So hopefully we get some more intel from Supercell soon. If they are dropping Clan Wars, you know, I would imagine that they would do something, um, you know, to prep us. Like if you just drop Clan Wars, the biggest update in Clash Royale history, oh, if, before I lost my tears right there. If you drop Clan, Clan Wars, the biggest update in Clash Royale history, without, you know, giving us any sort of preface on what it's going to be or what the heck you're actually going to do for Clan Wars, that would actually be sort of interesting. I would imagine that they'd do something, you know, to sort of get us ready and uh, figure out what's going on. Uh, speaking out what's going on, guys, this is uh, not my favorite battle right now. I, okay, guys, I, I'm blowing the battle. I'm blowing it. I'm going in hard. Oh, we didn't end up getting that Mega Minion to charge up. That is not good. So we have to go ahead and drop our Goblin Gang. But we're just going to lose everything. Oh, that Goblin Gang didn't even work right. So we're just going to lose everything that we've worked so hard for on this side of the map. Looks like we'll actually get a... We'll take his tower out as well. So it's not the worst thing in the world. But guys, Giant Sparky, this is going to be a fun matchup to say the least. And by fun, I mean it's going to be terrorizing. Having double Prince means that this is not going to be fun to play. So what we're going to do instead right now, guys... We're going in for the giant. We're going in for the prince. We're praying. We are praying. I repeat, we are praying that he doesn't have something that can bring us over. But this minion horde is actually s swatting us up right now. Oh, no. That's not fun. All right. Well, we lost all of that. Giant's going to go down in the very center. So we have to be ready. Means we need to poison this over here. Should be enough to take out those spear goblins. I'm going to go ahead and surround this. But that wasn't my best surround, to say the least. Spear goblins are taking out this giant. So we're not going to lose our tower. But I just really don't know what to do. This deck is not very fun for us to play against. I repeat, this deck is not very fun for us to play against. He's simply going to sparky us down repeatedly until there are many tears streaming down our face. And all right. All right. Well, we're going in. Mega Minion's going to get locked on too. So we can at least go ahead and try to take that out. Uh, on the other lane, wow, we've got this set of this minion order. Right? Oh, I zapped that. Actually, that was really stupid of me. Um, well, actually, we're going to be able to take that out, um, which is sort of nice. So that won't work the worst, but still, this giant going in. Guys, we're taking so much damage right now. We ended up killing it at the last moment, but 38 seconds left. Fortunately, our bats are actually going to run over to that Sparky and do an awesome job. But meanwhile, we do have the minion horde going down right now. Okay, we got to drop our poison after this goes in. Got to drop our prince as well. Need to end up dropping... Ev oh, I meant to drop our Prince, not our Dark Prince right now. This Giant is bulldozing our tower. 139 HP left, guys. He just needs to zap us down for the win. GG, well played to Legendario. Oh, that one... That one hurt. That one hurt deep inside of my soul right there. We definitely tried our best, but unfortunately our best was not enough. Spear Goblin's going to come out and give it to us. He would have cycled the zap anyway, so I knew I didn't really have a chance inside of the battle. Well played to Legendario, and that's going to be the end of that one. All right, well, we started off with a little bit of a loser. I, I knew that we were in a lot of trouble right there. We were fortunately or fortunate enough to swap towers in the beginning. 
after he threw down his Sparky, which was the trump card inside of that one, guys. But let's go to battle number two. We can go ahead and reclaim Master 2 pretty easily and go on a little bit of a two-win streak and pull ourselves back up. Don't really want to do anything too crazy, so let's just see what our opponent has. All right, looks like he's got his uh, Musketeers, so we'll swap with our, our Dark Prince down the opposite lane. And uh, let's just play this calm and controlled. Nothing crazy. Dark Prince going to run on through. Wow, a log. To say a prediction log would, would be an understatement right there. I'm going to go ahead and get our Giant going in. Wow, he let that Dark Prince actually tickle his tower right there. So I'm going to go ahead and drop our Prince. Then I'm going to go ahead and drop our Bats. Bats will kill the Musketeer, then turn around. And we should have a nasty counter push coming his way. All right, guys, this is going to be a much different battle uh, than the last one. I feel like Bowler's coming in. All right, so he must have log. Wow, he's going to let that... That, that prince is going to go ham on him if he doesn't watch out. Looks like it's actually going to end up locking on. And since he's being so aggressive with his plays, guys, time for us to go ham. Wow. I don't even think he knew the Spear Goblin was coming right there. But let's get our Goblin getting going down at the last possible second. Meanwhile, in the opposite lane, that is going absolutely crazy with our Dark Prince. I don't think that bowler reaches our tower. So that'll be tower number one going down to zero. And already we have a crazy lead. So this one's much, looking much better. I'm not blabbing about Clan Wars. Although I would think, guys, again, what I was trying to say is that we should get some details about Clan Wars before it actually drops. They're not just going to throw it down on us and expect us to know what the heck is going on. I think that's a little bit unrealistic, um, but you never know. I, I don't really know exactly what's going to happen. They did take away sneak peeks from the YouTubers, you know, because there was too many leaks and it was sort of ruining the hype around the updates, which, you know, I get from uh, from Supercell's end. They want to keep the hype real right now. By the way, man, that Musketeer was not good at all. Poison Spell ended up not being great as well because we didn't really need to do what we did, but still... Mega Minion's going to take crushing blows right there. Dark, looks like that Mega Minion's going to end up dying in a moment. Kill this Dark Prince right here with our, or kill this Bowler right here with our Dark Prince, and that'll be the end of that. But anyways, no sneak peeks coming from me other than what you guys see as well. I still have no idea what's coming on inside of Clan Wars, which is uh, pretty wild to, to see what's, you know, really going to happen to the future of this game. People are saying, you know, the last couple of updates, people have been waiting and waiting and waiting. What's going to be the next update that absolutely blows our minds? And at this point, it really feels like, you know, it's, it's do or die. A lot of people want to see this update succeed more than anything. And they're going to be super disappointed if it don't, or if it doesn't. Um, so yeah. All right. Enough blabbering from me, guys. I'm going to get our Dark Prince ready right now. You know that the tornado is coming in, so another giant is going to be necessary to tank it up for these towers right now. Looks like we're just completely knocking down his towers with two giants going in. Feels good. That should be the end of tower number two, and that should finish off this game in style. Pretty, pretty solid game. I mean, I, you know, I didn't have the best start of the game, to be honest, by playing that naked Dark Prince, but I was able to counterattack him pretty successfully uh 15 seconds left on the clock guys all we have to do poison zap the center bat gg all right solid stuff one more win We're, we should be back up inside of master two right now so i'm feeling good about that lightning spell coming in he is trying for his life to get that next or crown but it's not going to end up going down and uh, let's get to battle number three and see if we can increase i guess our lead into master two 27 trophies not as great as our, our first uh or our loss right there but let's go and hop into the next one Looking good, looking good. Um, but yeah, let's see what uh, let's see what comes out inside of this next update, guys. I mean, there's obviously going to be stuff besides Clan Wars that comes out. They've already confirmed that there's going to be um, the global mute button. Honestly, I don't know how much that takes to really program, though. I would imagine it's very quick for them to, you know, do whatever for that. But I could be wrong. Um, people have wanted to see more deck slots. I'd love to see something like that. Obviously, new cards have to be on the the slate for the next update um, because they bring new cards inside of every single update. So I would imagine to see some of those. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to really see what the full scope of the update is when it comes out to us. But it's not just going to be Clan Wars. Obviously, that's the easiest thing to speculate on. I knew Supercell, like, they've made clues to think that heroes won't be coming inside of the, um, of the update as well. So, I wouldn't expect to see a Barbarian King or an Archer Queen on the map anytime soon. Meanwhile, Dark Prince going to run in hot right there. We've got our own little, uh... Ooh, that actually ended up missing a Spear Goblin plus the tower. That wasn't the best, but still, it's going to be fine. Hog Rider coming in hot. Wow, that's a, that's an interesting play. All right, well, we'll have to deal with that. He knows our Zap is out of cycle. Oh, it looks like we actually retargeted right there, which is a little tragic. Zap's going to come in from him. All right, he's got a massive push coming down the lane, guys. I think he does have log, so he knows he can count on his log if he has to. Looks like our Giant's going to run in hot. I'm waiting for that log so I can do something else, but let's see. Looks like we'll end up taking that out, guys. I'm going to go opposite lane right now with Dark Prince plus our Goblin Gang because I knew that log was coming out, guys. This would be some massive damage down this lane. I'm hoping it's going to be some massive damage down this lane. I'm going to zap this down. Ooh. Yeah, we could have gotten more. The only problem is we split up our damage, and it's likely going to be a 1-0 to zero battle. So I would have loved to have this all same lane, but 
I guess I could have followed up my giant push on the other side. That might have been a mistake for me. I got a little too cute, not focusing just down one tower and trying to go for two and getting a little greedy, but it's still going to be okay. I've got my spear goblins ready in a moment. Let's go and drop those down. Try to get some damage done on this tower. All right, looks like he's going to reject us. Feels bad, man. But still looking fine. I'm actually going to get our giant ready right now. Ooh, that's not very fun. All right, well, let's just go ahead and drop all of this to take out that minion ward. He's going to have to respond to this goblin gang, so... Hopefully we get some chip damage on the other side, but we'll see what he does. Zap's gonna come in right now. He's got his log. All right, so that's all going down. He probably has to zap these bats. There it goes. Spear Goblin's gonna come in now. Does he have mortar to stop the giant? I don't think he does. So we're gonna get them. Ooh, the giant's gonna get a hit onto the tower, which is what we needed. Spear Goblin still chipping away right now, but this is definitely not over by. We need to give up the opposite lane tower. That's honestly what we need to do. Giant's coming in. Let's go and drop everything we have right now. If he drops minion horde. All we have to do, I was going to do Goblin Gang right here for this. We're going to go and drop our Poison Spell right now. We're giving up that tower by every stretch of the imagination, guys. One Spear Goblin did lock onto the tower, but the Mortar knocked it out. Oh, that was such a toxic Mortar to say the least, guys. What in the world happened right there? We've got 20 seconds left. Uh, I, no, I messed this up. I should have gone for something else right here. This is bad. This is not good. This is not good. We've got only a couple of seconds left on the clock. Poison Spell needs to come down. I've got Zap in a moment, but the Goblins are going to sprint on in there. Is that going to be enough, guys? we got to zap this. Woo! That's barely going to be enough to take out this tower. And now look at the other side of the map. Except he has a hog rider. That's not good. Uh-oh. He has a hog rider. That's not good. I repeat, he has a hog rider. That's not good. Goblin gang going in. We're holding on for dear life. But I think that's going to be the end of it. Please! Please! Prince! Oh, please stop it! Oh, we ended up stopping it right there. Prince is going to go ahead and get on. Prince, go in for the win! I knew the Spear Goblins were coming! I got the Spear Goblins! Give me the Prince on the toe! Oh! <laughs> Let's go! The Spear Goblin prediction in the center. I knew those were coming out. L. Diane, whatever your name is. GG, well played. Woo! That was close. All right, we got to end it on that one, guys. That was legendarily close. I realize I, I get, like, really... I have brain farts all the time when I have like 300 HP left on my tower and, and I defend their push and I'm like, okay. And then they drop a musketeer in the center or they drop spear goblins or goblin gang in the center and they, they end up knocking out my tower. Not that time. Not that time at all. I placed my spear goblins down just in the nick of time to stop his. And because he went for that offensive push, my my prince ended up locking onto his tower and that was gg well played wow that was a, a fun battle gg guys i hope you guys enjoyed this episode let me know what your clan war and update speculation is in the comment section below it's going to be blowing up every single clash royale youtubers channel for the next couple of weeks or next however until the update comes out uh so hope to hear what you guys have to say and that's going to do it for this video hope you guys enjoyed until next time i will see you guys later peace out